got here is the h2extreme.com HHO generator. Um, this one's set up to demonstrate a uh, torch assembly. And that's why we got a pressure switch. So I can build up a little pressure. If this was in a car, it would be under vacuum. You don't need all this. Basically, what we're going to show you is how that works. Um, inside here, there's a switch right there that switches my AC power on and off. Um, you can hook your DC power up if you're running just a battery. I'm running a battery charger, so I prefer to switch on and off my AC power. Um, basically, it just pushes this until it switches it off. So when it gets up to 15 pounds of pressure, it's going to switch off. And then when it gets down below 5 pounds, it'll switch back on again. So I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. See all that HHO coming up for us. And we'll give it a minute. And it'll reach its pressure. And it'll shut off. You'll hear it click and you'll watch the bubble stop. This could take a little bit of time. I'm not pumping a lot of power, not getting a lot of gas right now. Probably making about a half a liter a minute. here that it's up to eight pounds and climbing now this is the first test I've ran on this one so it might not be exactly 15 pounds there's a spring inside here to adjust to get it dialed in right perfect like I said when it gets up to pressure it will shut off And uh, the more pressure you put in there, uh, the bigger the explosion would be if it ignited. So keep your pressure low and we keep the risk down to a minimum. And as soon as this builds up the pressure and you guys see how it works, We'll demonstrate um, this hose here. It's six foot, twelve feet long, two six foot lengths to my torch. And in the center of it, you have a spark arrestor, flashback arrestor, just for extra safety. And there it goes. See, and like I said. 15 pounds up here it's at 19 pounds which will work fine I can adjust it to 15 so see it shut off the bubbles are rising to the top and basically we're going to give you a demonstration of how it works we're going to go ahead and like this it's full of pressure so we just want to crack the valve just a little bit like that and see with that 20 pounds of pressure you can get you know a nice pretty flame on there and you hear it come back on your pressure drop came back on all right and that's how we do it so we'll just do a little demo of this wood burning here